wouldn't think of myself as an industry builder. I've just been hanging around at it for 30 years. So, um, but I guess something good comes of it. I mean, it's, uh, it's you know the things I've seen in this industry in 32 years, which is how long I've been in it. Uh, it's pretty wild. There's been lots of changes, lots of great things, lots of struggles, uh, but it's all very good. And I guess I'll, I'll start with a few thank yous. I really need to thank my family, because anyone who works in this industry uh, knows you can't do it without the support of family. So, the mine are here tonight, uh, Mary, Emily, and Sarah. Uh, I also want to thank my father, Frank Buck, and he's been doing my books for Ryan, he's a former bookkeeper and he's retired, and he said, I'll handle that for you, which is great because even though, like John said, I still own 20 bucks, I know how to invest my money, right? <laughs> I keep your $20 for 20 years and then I give it back to you and it's 21. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's great. Uh, I want to thank uh, Brian Ramjatton who's here tonight. Uh, Brian's been very supportive um, in the transition of our business and moving it forward. So Brian, I really appreciate everything you do, uh, as well as uh, Randy and Glenn, the guys in the office who, who really just work hard every day. Uh, they get the vision, they're all musicians, everyone who works with us is a musician, so they understand it. So when independent artists come in to see us and talk to us, you know, these guys have history. Um, and that helps, and that makes, that makes a big difference. Um, some other people that I want to thank was Shelley Nordstrom, Shelley's here tonight. Uh, we started working together in Duckworth Distribution, Atlantica Music. I think what Shelley came on board when she was the regional VP of a and Records, if you can remember back that far. And uh, we've worked together in the same company for a few years and then on and off in different companies, but we always stay connected with our projects and we bounce ideas off each other and it's really great. Um, and the guy who gave me, I guess, uh, my first job in this industry was Fred Brokenshire. So. Um, I, I don't think I've met anyone with the, the passion that Fred had at the time. And John can attest to it because when they formed the first industry association, the things they did, the challenges Fred made, uh, and the deals he, he, would, he would go up and meet EMI and come home with massive checks and say, this is going to help, help with the industry, help our distribution get national. I'm like, how the hell did you do it? He just, the charisma there was, and, and the vision, um, and, and I guess uh, uh, part of what makes success in this industry is you can't have a fear of failure. Because if you're afraid to fail, you'll, you'll never succeed, right? So um, I want to thank Fred for that. The other people, I guess, are the artists that I work with. So in 32 years, there's been a lot of artists that I've worked with, and not just in Newfoundland and Labrador, but all of Atlantic Canada. Pretty much anyone who's anyone, I've, I've kind of had some interactions with. Um, and geez, I remember, you know, doing the first album with the Ennis Sisters when they were in their teens. Now they're in their 40s and touring across the country. So, you know, we go way back with, with lots of different artists. Um, and so I'd be remiss if I didn't especially thank the artists, um, you know, who I've seen over the years and come along. And it, it um, you know, in, in 32 years, I did a rough calculation a few days ago. In, in 32 years, we've manufactured over 7 million records. That's just an event. So that's quite a bit. That's, that's a lot of music. Um, and then before I leave, there's just one thing that I'd like to say, which I think the music industry is probably the side of the industry that's the least funded and probably one of the most important. Because, you know, if we, if we put all our money into creating great art, but it, it, there's no infrastructure to help them develop, um, it, it really slows down the process. And what I mean by that is, you know, you get a lot of Newfoundland and Labrador artists and their managers are from Ontario and their booking agents are from out west. And so I really think that the people, the powers that be, need to invest in the industry side as much as they do the artist. Um, you can build a great car, but if there's no roads, you're going nowhere. So yeah. um, I, I would love to see a larger focus on that, help develop new people in the artists, you know, the designers, the managers, the publicists, the booking agents. And, and really make that part of the industry every bit as strong as the arts. Because if it is, the artists will succeed. 
you know. Anyway, I really appreciate this award. I'm just really glad that it's not a lifetime achievement because that would be the end and I've got a lot of things left to do. So, so thank you very much. Thank you for music and everyone who supported me along the way. I really appreciate it.